I always get a little nervous doing this. Oh, maybe I should use the, uh... Any luckies? No, just shit imps. Where the fuck are all the... Okay, there's the house teleport. <laughs> That's a watchtower on here. I wanted to uh, activate the thingy again. I don't have much time. And I always get a little nervous doing this. I always feel bad attacking PVMers, you know? It, it kind of comes from the standpoint of... As a fellow PVMer, I know how annoying it is to get attacked. Even though I know it's a part of it, you know? It's part of the wildy. I'm fully aware of that. People get so sad, you know, so disappointed. Oh, I'm not subscribing, which doesn't personally hurt me, but it does make me feel bad about attacking them, you know? Ah, stop being a pussy, Raymond. Let's just fucking go. Oh, shit, we got our uh, first target to teleport right on top of us. I am not good enough for this. It's gonna suck. Oh, here's a fucking cursed fang. You've got to be kidding. He's got an ultimate slayer helm. Why am I fighting this man? Like the, the worst opponent I could have possibly chosen, I feel like. <coughs> and now my dog is going ham. <coughs> Say nah. <coughs> what the fuck? I have no idea why he's even barking in the first place. <coughs> Great timing as well, isn't it? Yeah, I don't have a rest. Yeah, yeah. Got the friend. I'm not even using my double, I'm an idiot. Let's just teleport away from this fight? <laughs> that didn't work out fully. Oh, so fucking randomly out of nowhere. I have no idea why I started barking. That completely threw me off. I mean, I was obviously outclassed in that fight to begin with, right? No biggie, I'll accept that. I don't even mind if we die for this, because the risk is very minimal, obviously. But I gotta make sure I use my double. I realized I had the alien pet out for like half an hour there, but... Uh, the risk is low, so I don't mind dying. But that distracted me out of nowhere. I think we need a little break to take care of my boy over here. We are not... Well, actually... We have six tier nines. I was just realizing, I, I just got back by the way, it's probably not even deep wieldy right now, but uh, just for the next time, I think it's a good idea to try and get this bounty mystery. No, that's not what I want actually, no. Uh, also not that. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm looking for the ability to teleport to your target, but is it something you unlock by default? Uh, you must have the Bounty Teleport Blood... Oh, Blood Perk! Unlock to use this spell. Oh man, I just sold all my blood money. Alternatively, you can use the Bounty Teleport Tablets without the perk. Okay, that's good to know. If we have a look at the perk list, where do we get that one? Bounty Teleport, right here. Oh, 10k! Grants the ability to teleport the bounty in your spellbook. Works at up to level 30 wildy, so no more need for Bounty Teleport Tablets. Okay. Well, I guess the next time we save up 10k blood money, I'll go and lock that. I, I thought it was like a scroll from the bounty shop or something. Oh, good fight. You know what? That was not even that bad. For me? <laughs> Decent fight against someone on a relatively same skill level, I would say. I didn't feel completely outclassed or anything. But uh, yeah, obviously, if I want to like get good at this, I'm going to have to practice a lot, so... I do want to include some occasional clips. Let me know how you guys feel about an aging as a whole or about me doing it and such. Um, I think some occasional deep willy PKings all by myself would be like good practice and stuff. So hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. So give me some feedback. I think I should probably... I mean, I, I, I'm definitely not against fighting PKers. And learning from that, but I do think it would be good to occasionally focus on finding some potential PVMs or imp hunters and such. People that don't even fight back, but just trying to get better at predicting prayers and switching against them and all of that stuff. Because I definitely felt very lacking in that department against the other guy we fought and other guys doing hunt left, but that's scary. No, he teleported quick as fuck. Damn, gotta be quicker. I got someone. He just teleported in. <laughs> yeah, he literally just teleported in. I mean, hey, we trying, right? I mean, he's not even, like, doing anything. To be fair, I feel like we're gonna find a lot of people like that. Just knife him out. I really gotta get the figure eye. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, we're getting soul shark and stuff from it, so it's not for no reason, even if they don't really risk anything. Also, to be fair, you never know if they do risk anything. Every time I enter the wildy to hunt imps, I do bring a reasonable amount of risk, so... For some people, that might be worth it. Like me. Sneak attack. Or did, did I actually land the TB? I can't even tell. He took my cursed imp. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a little bit.
better <laughs> self jokes at times like this, right? Man's not even praying. Oh, 61, good fight, man. Hey, we got someone with pure luck by camping the bulls because he didn't pray against it. Cool. Oh, he actually had a couple of implings and stuff. Maybe I should just make it a habit of opening the looting bag when I tell you home, huh? That way you guys just get to see if there's any loot. Hey, got him. Nice. See, I think just practicing like this will eventually make me better. And regardless, we're getting... Oh, wait, maybe I should loot the soul shard yet. I hate how that doesn't go to your loading bag. But we're getting that and we're getting hotspot points apparently. I uh, got skipped into the deep wildy. So now it's a bonus. Yeah, whatever. I'll leave those shards because uh, Vote Boss is about to spawn. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. I'm enjoying this though. I, I just don't know how you guys will feel about it. <laughs> I genuinely can't predict it. So I'm a little iffy about it. But uh, curious to hear. Nothing too special from the Vote Boss, but it is a daily. Oh, speaking of dailies, Deep Wildy is one, and Deep Singles is as well. So we're working on a lot today. Sorry if I don't speak too much during this. <laughs> Catches the Infernal Imp. Ah, oh, don't PJ me off, man. Ah, that is so annoying. Target. No, oh, what? I feel like I was really quick on that one, but must have splashed again. Someone else? How the fuck you get so far away so quickly? Did I? Is it trying to TB the fucking impling? Are you kidding me? How does that even show up as an option? Or a range hit there? Oh, not, not enough magic level. That's kind of funny timing there. Let's try and get our HP up a bit. I don't think I'm doing that badly for someone who, for someone who literally never does this. I was expecting much worse. Oh! Just was just about to go for the unexpected sword because I hadn't used it all fight. Darn it. Damn, you skipped me so quick. Wait, I aren't bought. I just fought that guy. We can rematch. Oh. Hey, we got someone for real. Good fight, sees brother. Don't PJ me. Yee. Oh my god. That feels very fulfilling. That was a long fight. I know I don't really count it. I gotta focus, bro. The loot isn't even anything special, but just getting what feels like an earned an H kill is quite satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. That was well fought, I went for the re-TB as soon as I could. You know, he didn't instantly think of uh, teleporting out as soon as it ran out. It's, I think, I doubt I ticked that perfectly, I, I don't have a time running. I just figured since mine is about to go off, his should be too. And it worked out really well, I'm kinda proud of that. Yay! <gasps> impling. That's random as fuck, lucky Impling. Hey, we take those. Didn't double though. <laughs> hey, <laughs> flashback to that moment where I said, oh, we, when you run into a lucky impling, you're gonna be so glad you brought those. <laughs> this is that moment, bro. All right, max strength tourney coming up. Gonna do our best, see how far we get into that. All right, we kill moles first round. Good luck to you, man. All right, good luck first round. We didn't even prevenge. Let's hope that makes the difference. RNG is most definitely not on my end here. He's hitting so much better than I am, holy fuck. Actually ridiculous how many zeros my whip hits. But it is what it is, I suppose. Hopefully we can get a crazy comeback at the end here. Eldam will go. I need to put some trust into it, because the whip ain't dead. Jesus effing Christ, bro. He wiped his ass with me. What the fuck is happening? How How is there this big of a difference in RNG? How can a fight be this one-sided? That's insane. Good fight, I guess. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Well, fun tourney. Time to fend this anger on some PVMers. Oh, he's already on him. Let's see if we can get this target. I think so. Yeah, bro. He predicted my prayers before I even decide what I want to do. Huh? Huh? Th what? Did it just skip my target when I clicked entangle on the motherfucker? You have got to be joking. What is that? Oh, why did I do that? Such a habit to click attack. <laughs> Good fight. Well, walk right into an Elder Blood impling. Again, didn't double, but once again reiterating, bring your impling nets. <laughs> That's so funny. When I actually hunt implings, I never run into the good ones, but then I'm trying to do some deep willy PKing and I just find one after another. Ain't it crazy how that works? And boom! 
Yeah, buddy. Got you now. Holy mother of God. Chill. I didn't know you were chill like that. Yes. Good fight, man. Wait, that's still not 30 plus wildy. Oh, but we got a blood wildy casket. Hey, would you look at that? That's actually pretty good. I got to be deeper wildy, though. He had some blood aims. I don't know why I scroll to the chat all the time. I got a looting bag, for fuck's sake. Some main blanks. And then our daily hotspot stuff. Price ticket. Boom. Donator box. Treasure chest. Untradable casket for a gold artifact. We'll take it. And that puts us at a total of four already. Damn, bro. I can smell our first grand promo already. No, 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 no. He's harassing the PVMers. We have to get him. Hey, good fight, man. Woohoo! Another one bites the dust. Dude lost the whole 22 blood money and nothing else, Jesus. Oh my god, it's double hotspot points for another 30 minutes. I did not even realize. That is so stupid. That is silly willy nilly. Let's go ahead and use a scroll and start going a little harder to try and get kills. I was wondering why I was getting so many damn kills. Where the fuck are they? Blind as shit. Oh, because there's no scroll in the name. That explains. Haha, <laughs> fucking get him. Oh. I don't think he's gonna do anything. That is cool with me, buddy. I'll just go ahead and take the shards and the hotspot points and all of that. Got one, boys. Oh. We got one of those, I am not gonna do anything against you kind of guys. I mean, I do not mind. Because <laughs> it's free hotspot points. It's not the most exciting stuff to watch, probably, but I, I don't pick him out. And I don't think it's a thing of like, Oh, uh, they're suiciding because you're Raymond, you know, they want to be in the video. Maybe some do. I mean, there always is the case, of course. I mean, the chance, I mean. But uh, I am also painfully aware that a lot of people just suicide in general against BKers. Very nice. Uh, just because they don't want to bother with it. They find it faster to just die and gear up and go back than uh, try and fight out like a five minute TB or two and a half minute TB. So, yeah. But nonetheless, I mean... I'm having a jolly good old time and uh, when they do try and tank me or fight back, just more power to them. I enjoy that a lot and uh, as long as someone doesn't, like if, if I have to fight a fellow in nature and he starts using like a cursed fang and fucking javelins and all kinds of OP shit and like five different pets, I'd rather just tap out because I know I'm outclassed, you know, but similar skill level fights are really enjoyable. Like a one in H fight that cost like six minutes or that took like six minutes. I had a blast with that one. Just completely forgot to use a hotspot crystal for the uh, extra chance of caskets. Oh no! <laughs> that was perfectly timed, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, that was a fun little fight. Now we have this guy over here. Bonk, good fight. Well, the agent just killed himself by attacking me. I tried to throw a TB and he died of venom just from the TB. So, yeah, that went so quick I couldn't turn on the recorder in time. Hey, good fight. Had to do it. Oh, wait, wait that's still not 30 plus, was it? Where did he die? Yeah, no, that's still not. Hey, you want a blood statue? Ain't that like the 5 bill one or something? I think it's pretty decent at least. Oh, we completed both dailies. What do you even get for them? Golden gift box and some money. Some GPs. Yeah, we're not even going to try over there again. We are going to try him though. Wait, who is that? Buff and uh, players already teleblocked. I don't want to do him again. Anyway, that is nice. I love doing little things like that. It, it feels so different from what I usually spend hours doing, like dozens of hours, hundreds of hours potentially, that it's so incredibly refreshing that I can enjoy something I'm this bad at because I never do it, you know? I don't know, there's just something a little special about it in my opinion. I enjoy it. Just try and deny him. Hello? Non-existent hits? You egg M triangle. I don't fucking know, bro. Egg isn't even a shape. I Sometimes. Oh, one of them gave a blood wildy casket, an untradable one. 50 point box is not bad. Could sell that for a lot. 
But I'm not going to. Boom. 50 LMS points. Woo! 80 blood money. I like to get the uh, collection logs for a variety of things in the near future. Matter of fact, like our Slayer point, 3.6k at the moment. What we could do... That's the wrong one. I mean, the normal one. And I got a Hunter Elixir active at the moment, by the way. But like, we could start buying some of these for... Very easy collection log points, and then when we get enough this one, combine all of them into that one. And I think I already got all the other relatively easy cheat slots. The DH and stuff, yeah. So just Slayer Helms and then all the relics. Two ultimate mystery chests, not bad. And if we make that fused helm, then we can profit a couple of trill off of that. Obviously selling all those point boxes would give much more, but... Also potentially get pure points and LMS points and hunger game. I don't know if you can get hunger game points actually, but a bunch of different things we can get some log slots from. We have a look at hunger games. We have the casket, dragon arrow pack, five dollar bond. What if we buy like some gilded items and a ten dollar if we can? I don't know how many things we can buy. Ten dollar is doable. How about the gilded items? Gilded cannon, robin, and ranger boots. That's a couple of log slots, and we have... Where is it? 93 points remaining, so then the next time we can maybe buy the swift items or something. And this will slowly work towards more collection log milestone rewards, which are always nice to get. Just got 150 mystery shots from that one. Alright, so I put all of that in there. The gilded items were like 80 bill each-ish. And then the uh, bond 160 bill-ish. And then the LMS shop is kind of similar. We have an okay amount of points here. We can buy this and this and this. Very cheap. I think the 5 and the $10 bond. I just want to make sure we buy the items that are actually locked slots. All the bonds are a slot. I don't know if I'm going to have enough points for that. How much were they? It's not even that incredibly expensive. But we have 250 remaining. We'll just buy the... No. No, we're not. We're going to do a $5 and a $10. We'll save that one because more log slots, right? Multiple slots versus only one. Mystery chest, anchor, blunt dragon arrow pack. That might be super cheap. Blunt arrow pack. 15 points. Anchor ornament kit. That's pretty cool. Um, Nothing else is really cheap in there. This isn't a log slot, so... A few from that, and then I think the pure shop would be another one we can get a few from. There's a lot of things we still need, but we only have the Zemi and the Bandless books. So I think I'm going to focus on those first and try to get all of them. So we can eventually get the Enchanted book. How many points? I got just barely enough, I think. For all the books, and then I need more points to actually combine them all into one. Any more milestone rewards? Yes, Epic Point Mystery Chest. Just going to open it for once. Oh, only 50 LMS points. That's not ideal. Oh, with all some nice progression, because if we get seven more slots, that's an untradeable mystery ticket, and then a soul M chest after that, which is like 600 billish, whatever. So some cool stuff to look forward to. All right, I'm gonna buy some donator tickets because not of boost packs, but bank boosters. I'm running out of bank space all the goddamn time. Oh, lordy lord, why is it all so expensive? Let's do 4k, 80 biller, not too bad. And then buy four bank boosts with that. And just spam them all in there, because I couldn't even bank these books. Not have to worry about that for another 200 slots now.